I know some of you have been asking for some more multiplayer commander, and I have a three-man here, which I think started as a four, and then whoever was the host just said start game, and we only had three. So three people it was, because it was originally supposed to be a four. And I'm playing Zami, Lady of Scrolls. Uh, yeah, it is on my phone. And I'm playing against Geist of St. Tract and Zozu the Punisher. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, under control, uh, enters the battlefield, Zozu deals two damage to the land's controller. And I think all we all should know Geist of St. Traft. Very good in 1v1. In a 2v1, effectively, uh, still good. Uh, you can put the angel into play attacking either player or planes, uh, planeswalker. It doesn't have to go to the same place as Geist of St. Traft. So uh, if one player is open, but the other person has a planeswalker but no flying blockers, uh, you can send Geist at one player and hit the planeswalker with the angel. So pretty cool things you can do with Geist in multiplayer. I've enjoyed playing him in the past, uh, in paper. I see a hand of all lands, but honestly, I don't mind this hand so much. I have strip mine to deal with any shenanigans or broken lands. Uh, Talaria West is going to keep me tapped, so I'll probably run that out first. Sap a medallion to ramp into a zombie. And honestly, I'm worried that Zozu is going to be like the stone rain type of deck as well. So I'd rather keep a uh, land heavy hand and let Azami and her, her strength draw me out of it than keep a land light hand and never get to cast Azami in the first place. So I think we all keep, yep, and Queen H goes first. Get the Melon Hammerthong. And this is the multiplayer thing, uh, tap F8. And you'll see, I, I just don't do that. I will never do that if I can avoid it. They go with the Sol Ring, pretty good value, but they didn't have it turn one, so that means no turn two Zozu, and everything hurts a little bit less. I get runner runner of my draws, Tezra into V Click, and they spell shock, and I'm just gonna let that go. It's a uh, whenever a player casts a spell, deals two damage to that player. So definitely the Punisher style deck, uh, but Geist is gonna delay that for us, so that's pretty good. And delay is a fun counter spell. It gives the the counter spell suspend and it exiles it with uh, three time counters. So in three of Queen H upkeeps, so it's turn three. Soren Themes turn six, uh, he gets to cast Spell Shock again. So I know that's coming down soon. I just have to decide do I let it resolve or do I fight it by that point? But I have so much time. Now I also have Vendillion Click to try to stabilize a little bit. Get some damage, goes to the prison, doesn't bother me, I don't do that much attacking. So I'm going to click on draw step and I'm going to target Action Jack. I want to know what counter spells Action Jack's working with, and I don't have to reveal anything. So I see a uh, Blessed Alliance, counter actual counter spell, and Hypnotize Man, and land land. So not sold on lands at all. I decide I'm going to take this counter spell and give them a. Yeah, reveals counter spell. I, I, that was me asking if the soul ring was top deck, and give them the uh, take the counter spell and give them the draw, because I'd rather just not have to worry about trying to play around that while resolving all the zombie. And I could have left trip land up here, and it was my mistake, knowing that I had blue blue for click. I should have, and my opponent played dormant volcano on their turn. I should have just taken the trip mine line killed that, but I was really focused on getting three this turn so I could play a zombie on my turn and immediately draw two. Or Tezzer on my turn and immediately use him. So Chandra, Fire of Kaladesh, and once again uh, they are unable to deploy Zozu, which saves me one more turn. Do I try to, do I sit on dissipate this? No, okay. I cannot remember. I think I run a zombie out. Yep, I run a zombie out. And I shouldn't have gotten in for damage. I, I don't know what I was thinking there. I, I didn't need it, but I wanted to deal with Zozu as quickly as possible. I know the spell shock's coming down, and it's going to hurt me a lot, as well as Zozu. So the faster I can try to kill Theme 8, the better. Although I know Chandra's here, and she's going to kill Vendillion Click. So I should have just taken the draw off Click instead, and effectively cycled it. Mausoleum Wanderer, very cool card, and this is the first thing that tells me that uh, Action Jack is probably playing uh, Tribal Spirits, actually. Never 
Sorcerer is free after battle for any control. Gets plus one one. Draw into turn. Sack it. Counter target instant or sorcerer. Unless the control plays X for X plus wanderer's power. At the time sacked, obviously. Get plays Geist and shifts the turn back. And still hasn't played a second planes. So remember if you if you recall the hand or if you want to go back, I saw uh, uh, the island and a ghost quarter as the two lands. So here comes Zozu, I'm gonna tap. I don't know who Chandra, it's probably me. Yeah, it looks like it was me. Deals damage to me. And that's the thing, I don't know why. Oh, it's specifically target player. Good, good on me for reading magic cards. She deals damage to creatures on the flip. Things, outpost siege. I'm going to draw with the zombie in response. Ping flip. And shoots Action Jack in the face. And this, that was a huge mistake. I can understand getting a uh, click out of range, it, her out of range of click counter. But honestly, you have a Geist of St. Travers. Like, and a Mausoleum Wander. He has five points of flying damage on board right now. So, I don't know if that the correct play was to deal damage to a player. Like, get a creature off the board, get some value off, off of her flip, because all she's done is deal 5 damage right now. And that's her entire existence, she's done nothing else. So I'm going to do the Dormant Volcano play that I should have taken forever ago. I go with Tezzer, and I think for a sec about what I want to do. Oh, don't bug on me. Alright, I jumped through a lot. So I go for the Salt Ring. So I minus one Tez, get Salt Ring, so I can put Cold Silver in play. I want to get my ramp going without playing a bunch of lands. So, and and I foresee taking a lot of damage from the Zozu deck. So even though I would have liked to get the Crypt and keep Tezzer at uh, two, four loyalty, uh, Ring is just so much safer for my life total. This also gives me the ability to, ability to draw Crypt later and have it as a free two mana, as opposed to a one mana uh, one cost two mana ritual uh, that would be in my deck. They go for Ghost Quarter and they find a ring of their own. And they Ghost Quarter their own island. That's how desperate they are for these planes right now. And it might have been correct to strip mine the planes out, but I know about the Ghost Quarter. Also, how can you resist such a juicy target as a bounce land? Like a Karoo that they spent one of their land drops paying it playing, that pl or two of their land drops getting into play. Zoria Skilled Mage, counter target activated ability, with enough mana up to use it. So all of a sudden I cannot minus three Tezzeret, because I'm sure a Zoria Skilled Mage will counter that activated ability. So I gotta be careful and play the long con with Tez. I have a feeling I know what I'm going to go and get, which is going to be Shackled at some point, but I need him to stick around for that. Spell Shock resolves, and Outpost Siege gets, I'll pop out the Exile. A myriad landscape, which currently on MTGO is bugged in multiplayer decks. You can search for two different typed basic land cards, and it bothers the crap out of me because it fixes mana too well for EDH multiplayer, multi multicolor decks. Um, honestly, if Wizards of the Coast is trying to figure out how to code uh, that share a land type, when they when a player hits search, uh, activates the search ability. Black out the whole deck, but have it like displayed so they can see like what lands they have. Put them all in one column, uh, and then in the box, uh, have the five ba five basic have the five land types of Forest Plains, Mountain Swamp Island, and the player has to click on one of those types before they're allowed to click on any of the cards in their deck. And then once they've clicked on that type, uh, they can only select that type of land out of their deck. Because right now you can search for a mountain and a plains with it. I played a game against Yidris, and Mirrored Landscape fixed the mana problem he was having. He was able to get blue and red off of it when he should only have been able to get one of the four colors. Not two. So there's the landscape. I'm just going to leave the exile open because he does get a couple cards off Outpost Siege uh, over the course of this entire game. And Chandra's me. Down another two points. 
and then suspends the wheel of fate. So we got a wheel coming in the future. Time to play out the try to play out the hand or plan to counter the wheel. I pick up Sir, which is fantastic. And I'm gonna use Tezzeret like I was talking about. Oh. Uh, they redirect Chandra to Tezzeret. Noted. I'm gonna use that to try to get a Sir of Temptation to play. Spell Shock. Kill Soft Tezzeret. Alright, so he gained me four life. Don't have the shackles though. And they go with Ojutai's command, which I knew about. So I'm going to play a one mana and two life spell juice until my Sora can resolve. And I'm going to take Zozu here. And I take Zozu for a specific reason. I want Chandra off the table. This opens theme 8. He's tapped out. It opens him up to the Geist of St. Traffic attack. And I'm giving uh, Action Jack the ability to hit the player that has all of these punishing cards in play. I know Action Jack countered the, tried to counter or delayed the spell shock, so he's probably not the most thrilled with how theme 8's game is going, even though he, he was probably assuming Sorrow was going to take one of his creatures. Now that I didn't, he doesn't really care about, like, he traded his counter for my counter, and I took Zozu. Honestly, if Action Jack attacked me, I would block Geist with Zozu just to get them both off the table and let the other creatures hit Chandra. And I think I mentioned it in the comments uh, to that I left Theme 8 open. And look at all those attacks. Of course, they all go at Theme 8's face instead of at the Chandra that I was worried about. Here comes that angel token going at Theme 8. Hmm. Sorry about that, I just jumped so far ahead. Action Jack does nothing else in their turn. Uh, theme 8, reveal, reforge of soul off uh, Outpost Siege. And I don't remember how Chandra was dealt with. Graveyard. Eh. Chandra was dealt with somehow. Uh, she's exiled for some reason. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, oh. I into the royal, that's what it was, I into the, at the end of Action Jack's turn, I into the royal Lashandra, just because uh, she ults at 7, and I was worried that it was going to minus 2 to kill Soa, so I into the royal Lashandra, bouncing it to his hand, and then uh, when he tries to recast it, I use the Syncopate to exile it for good, so that cost me another 4 life to do. And I draw a bunch of cards off Uzanu, uh, I pick up Thirst, Relic, and I believe a land. And I'm going to send it Action Jack, just to keep the damage shared some. And I know Theme 8's not going to block the Pataria Maul, so I don't really mind losing two mana here either. Of course, we are freezing again. Come on, don't bug on me. Not sure what was going on there. Comes in, deals damage to theme eight again, and I I would have blocked Geist, I'm almost sure. Wheel of Fate, because he's going down to two counters. Reforge of Souls permanently exiled. Mizzix Mastery is now permanently exiled. So we're hitting some spicy stuff and this is actually taking good cards out of his deck at this point. I don't know what this bug is about with the all of the boxes. Uh seems to happen every now and then, specifically with Outpost Siege. Goes with a copy of Tablet. Beginning of each player's upkeep, copy Tablet deals one damage to that player. So, really on the uh, Deep Slug plan, which, honestly, you just play Nekasar at that point, if you want to play Deep Slug. So I, as Ami, draw a Galitus, draw a Winter Orb. Man, that's a good card. And draw a Videlcan Shackles. Just what I wanted Tezzeret for. What a good hit. There we go. I don't know why it's uh, not... So, Contagion Engine. Well, I have a... Oh, 
I I talk in chat. I said, well, who's that gonna hit? Uh, I believe. Who you're gonna target? Would you, would you not like? I th I think you mean wouldn't. Or would would you not like to know? Uh, not quite sure where you're trying to go with it. Uh, it's improper, I believe. So, well, if you're gonna try to be, if you're gonna be like that, I'm gonna not let you have an engine. So, at this point, I'm in for penny, in for a pound. I'm gonna thirst before I do anything. You might not want to have to spend this disc tape, because I could hit something like a null or um, a skill sabotage, in which case. It's a more narrow counter spell. I don't want to have to dissipate it. Also, if I hit Skill Sabotage, I can uh, decide to dissipate it, slam Winter Orb um, on this guy, on Team 8 being tapped out, and then uh, use uh, Skill Sabotage to bounce my own Winter Orb before I need an untapped step. So I pitch the Relic. I don't for foresee it being useful this game. And I'm going to hinder Daedra Engine to the bottom, I, because I'd rather save the dissipate for something. And they're very similar counter spells, but Daedra Engine just being gone is good enough for me. And they tap the Taurian Mauler, and I've got to assume that Action Jack thinks that Team 8 is holding a grudge against him, because I'm assuming he thought the Taurian Mauler was going to be hitting himself, so he taps the Taurian Mauler pre-combat, or beginning of combat. Saves me poor life if it was going to hit me, because I've had no creatures. And unfortunately, uh, I make a little bit of a blunder play here. Well, it's sort of a blunder play. It's the, do I think my Shackles activation would be allowed to resolve with Guild Mage in play? Because I could play one spell, play Guild Mage, or Shackles. Um, Taurian Mauler goes up to 5, which is exactly how many islands I have, and then shackles the, the Taurian Mauler. Um, the thing is, Guild Mage has the counter to that, so I have to needle the Guild Mage. I pick up Fabricate, Fleet, I go with the Guild Loader first, realizing that I'm not going to be able to take the Taurian Mauler, I'd rather just keep chump Chumpers up. Sorry, this game happened uh, almost a week ago, and I know I've been gone for a while. Uh, we've been having some, I was having some issues with uh, the sound card in my tower. Thankfully, I have a mend temporarily, and Fantex is sending me a replacement part for free as part of uh, their customer care program. So I'm just shackles, and Action Jack is let to go, which seems odd, but I guess Hexproof Commander, he doesn't mind it. That's fine. And Winter Orb. Well, that should draw out whatever counterspell's been lurking. Right? No? Winter Orb resolves? You you have... I mean, I guess Soul Ring, two untapped lands, but I don't think you want to let that resolve. Copper Tablet deals more damage to him. No, I'm down to ten life at this point. Zozu has been hurting me. Staggered Shock has been hurting me. And I think I get to the point that I won't be able to cast a spell until theme is removed from the game. Geist, coming in over there. Once again, I was ready to block Geist Chomp Angel, which is why I kept these up. Which, thinking back, would have been the mistake because Tarn Mala would just untap and kill me. But, so I had a better option of uh, Chomp Angel, take two, un let teammate untap Chump Tarian Mauler, I guess. If they both wanted to go at me. Uh, here's a message. Uh, uh, why he's upset about uh, the Winter Orb, I believe teammate is. Um, and I'm saying, well, I can block and kill Geist. And then he's going to talk about how Angel can go somewhere else. Geist can go at him and Angel can come out over here. Wheel of Fate. It's still not coming down. Wh which is really why I don't like the card. Exile's Armageddon Clock, the Outpost Siege. That's gone forever. Plays the land. Which kind of, you kind of have to do underneath the Winter Orb at this point. 
And note, I have this on the Azorius Guild Mage. I did skip through that, I believe. Sorry, Mauler. Doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't get tapped down because doesn't want to lose the uh, action jack, doesn't want to lose the land on his D-Lord. And feels pretty safe about Mauler not coming at him, I'm sure. I'm going to pick up a card, do some damage to the tablet, draw some more. And I draw with only a zombie. So I'm going to get in front of the two points against Action Jack. He doesn't jump with the Mausoleum Wanderer. Damn, thought I had him. I just have so much mana here that I'm going to try to get in for damage where I can. I don't know why I have to click so much to try to get through all of this. Approaching the 21 minute mark of the video. The game is actually almost over. We're on turn 9 of the game. I don't want to jump ahead a full turn just because so much. Divine Reckoning. Well, that is a good counter spell. How much mana do you have open? Three? Well, I would love to tap my Cold Steel Heart. Misplay, also. And Mentally Tap. Will you pay three on your D-Orb and fetch to sh shock yourself as well? Please? Please? Would you like to? I decide to take I take two off the spell shock. I'm down to seven life. And they I don't think they were realizing what they had in play at this point. And they just do it. They pay the three. Tap down. You guys see what's about to happen? You see what my misplay was? Not tapping the Guild of Lotus for the Mana Leak? I'm going to shackle their Mausoleum Wanderer and counter their Divine Reckoning. Now that it's the only spell in the stack, they can't even sack the Mausoleum Wanderer in response. Because they would still have to pay the one. Mine and gank your spell with your own creature. Feels so good. Um, action Jack. I don't think he realized what was happening uh, with the three mana. I don't know if he realized, like, remembered the orb was there in that moment, or remember that he had a wanderer. So I lose one mana that would have been useful potentially uh, for this dissipate. So now I have to tap out if I want to cast this dissipate. Honestly, though, I know the wheel's happening. That hand's not really worth anything. I hit muddle the mixture though, which is still a good counter spell. Tap six. All right. Well, what do you got? Vandal blast. Um, no thanks. Well, I can quick draw. I get miscal. Even better. I would love to miscal to you from one mana in in your pool. I don't even have to spend this muddle the mixture. I know. Feels bad. I'm down to five life, but I can safely chump with Zozu without fear of it coming back into play. Hime is at one and will die to their copper tablet on their turn, which is satisfying. Tar and Muller thinks twice about it. Does he actually come in? Yep, comes in. I block Zosu. Don't need him anymore. He plays the land that would have been allowed him to play from to play Miscalc, but not prevented him from casting a spell because Stagger Shot would have killed him. Pretty cool uh, uh, way of playing against the Punisher style deck by locking them with their own punishment effects. So I could attack them. I really don't need to. Honestly, if Action Jack wants to kill them, they can. Uh, I've set the stage that Hemate can't do anything. And neither of us are going to kill either, both, either of these things at this point. We're just going to let them die. Oh, I do kill him. It's weird of me. I usually don't go for the kill like that. Oh! Because I wanted to play a land, and I'm at 4 life. That's what it was. Uh, I wanted to be able to do things this turn. And now I'm going to start going crazy. Play Legacy of Valor, Preordain. I'm going to pick up that Negate, and trip a turn. Now with Negate and Muddle against an opponent with one land and a ring, I feel very, very safe. I'm going to Shackle the Guild Mage at uh, end of turn. Oh no, I remove it from combat here. I'm going to Chump the Angel because it kills me. And, oh no, I take the angel and block 
and kill Geist and take two because if Geist survives, he's going to get another angel. So I need to make sure Geist dies. Geist goes down. I lose the angel. Not to worry. Uh, Action Jack's about to have an empty board. I put a lore counter on my Cathedral Lair. I get my Devotion Blue Land. Get in for some damage. Wait, uh, do I take it? Take it right away. Uh, steel, and I get a Steel Sabotage on their end step to bounce my orb. In the light of me having a full untap, uh, I he hasn't even seen the dismiss. Action Jack decides to pack it in as well. So it was a very fun game. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy multiplayer, even though I am playing mono blue. Kazami is definitely a better mono blue commander than uh, sl my Vendillion Click deck, just because uh, Click is so reliant on uh, actually pr like being a clock when the clock has to be. 14 turns worth of damage, always swinging, and if she comes down on turn 2 in, in the ideal world, I don't have game until turn 16, assuming she gets in every single turn, and that's only against 2 players. Against 3 players, it would be uh, another 7 turns on top of that. I hope you got but uh, Azami just gets value in a certain point, and this sort of game state happens. I have mind control on a stick, I have a, a one-shot mind control that costs no mana. Uh, honestly, I'm going to try to remove Pithing Needle uh, at some point. I'll probably uh, use Muddle to tutor for some way to get back a bounce spell or my own, some more of my own bounce spells so I can bounce my own Needle and unlock the Guild Mage for my own, build, my own uh, machinations. Uh, what I might do end up doing is uh, uh, using Legacy's Allure to take it, so that way I have Shackles. I can keep Shackles up as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the game, though. Uh, I definitely enjoyed playing it, and I thought it was a really cool uh, game. Down to two life against the Pressure deck and a very strong Tempo deck. If you want to see more games like this, I have one more multiplayer game as well. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm, I've, I've had a few people asking for deck lists. I'm working on trying to get uh, my lists refined and up on uh, tapped out so uh, keep an eye out for that I'll, I'll leave the links probably in my next deck dive video and then uh, once I have refined lists start leaving them in the comments beneath my videos as well I will see you all in the next one